Good afternoon, everybody. It's Mr. Jan for your noon Saturday cartooning for kids with Mr. Jan. I'm all. And continuing with our holiday theme, um, we're going to draw a hippopotamus. Because I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Any hippopotamus will do. So, hippopotamus, or as I like to call them, the potatoes of Africa. Um, it is a rather round, large animal. Um, but we can have fun with it. So what you're going to do is, as best as you can, draw a potato. So this is the shape of a potato. It is just a big round, ovaly shape. So you got that. And then we're going to have our head. So this is this over here is going to be like the mouth of the hippopotamus. And then we're going to kind of build out its little neck. And we're going to build up a head. And it's kind of like that. So it's a hippopotamus. Um, they have many shapes, many distinct features, but so long as you get all the main features of your hippopotamus, um, people will know what you're drawing. So this does this. So the legs, again, are what we're doing with the legs, we're just kind of doing um, almost like big old tree trunks. Uh, round shapes, round shapes. You want to do your round shapes and your little hippo tail. Okay. So, we built that, so now we, what we want to do with a hippo is um, a hippo, it's a very, you know, it's a very big front face. Um, so it's a little nostrils kind of live like right up here, so you're going to do this, do that for the nostrils. And then you can do the mouth kind of like this, it's a big sharp curve down, and so you kind of want to, we're going to have this little guy smile, so do that, and then a little, whoop. that's the front of its mouth. Lower lippy. And you're just gonna go, it's kind of flat, so you just go like this, and then again, we're gonna build out that bottom lower jowl. Um, with its eyes, so you can kind of, we're gonna slope up the forehead and then put its eyes kind of like right here, and then over here, and looking over there towards us. And the nostrils are kind of here. And so again, you know, just basically, it's all just shapes. Um, kind of like sharp haze where they have a lot of folds, you know, because they're big and wrinkly, the giant potatoes. Um, build up that head some more in the back, and give it ears. Ears are little bloop. Those are those hippo ears of our hippopotamus. Okay, so it's got a big round jowl over here. Body does that. Okay, a little fold over here, a little hump over there. Okay. The belly. And so now its toes. Kind of like that. And then same thing over here. Gonna do do do. do. So basically what's kind of fun is that you're kind of just kind of um, filling in your imagination as you go. Uh, watch, if you watch a lot of Lion King, they've got hippos in that. Tarzan. Um, so Disney, really good with animals. And there you go. So that's our hippo. Needs a name. It's Hippo Carl. So he's a Carl the Hippo. Um, so you've got two legs in the front, so you should kind of do two legs in the back. So my cheat is that I would just follow along, and this will be in darkness. Let me have to color that in. Um, just to show that there is two legs. You know, everybody has, has four legs. Um, next, we're just going to erase uh, this inner lines. Then we're going to throw down some ink on it. Okay. So, we will use this Prismacolor black marker. I use my broad tip and just get to work. So I'm just going to go over my pencil lines, basically. So 
so that I can erase them. Um, so all what would be left would just be um, what I write inked over. So I'm doing this where I have a very solid bold line because as you can see it's you know it's very distinct it's very clear because yes we will have to add some color to this and you don't want to lose any um, detail okay so again even just with the same with a simple outline uh, if someone were to walk in, they are like, oh, what a lovely dolphin you're drawing. They're like, I'm not drawing a dolphin, I'm drawing a hippo. Because I have put in all the characteristics of what the animal is supposed to be. It is a large animal. It does have a large body. Um... Hippopotamus. And now we will draw our hippopotamus. Um, if you've ever seen a hippo in the wild, the skin is actually kind of pink underneath and then it has gray, you know, on the body. But so what you can do is that this pink uh, pot pencil, I'm just going to kind of lightly just kind of accent parts of my hippo that I want to have some color in. Uh, and it's, it's interesting, like, oh, you know, it doesn't, now you ruined it, Mr. Jan, it's a pink hippo. Nothing wrong with the pink hippo. But now, we're going to add some gray. This is a uh, rose art warm gray. Now we can just go over the exact same area that we've drawn. And it's okay that if you're coloring it in, you know, you kind of go over your the gray part or the um, your marker. Uh, it's perfectly okay. You can go back and just you know just re-ink it, draw it over. As colors, depending on your points, as they start to fade out, uh, it's okay. And if Mr. Jen did his job right, so we've got our hippo. We can just, for fun, even now, use a little bit of that brown that we use when we drew our reindeer. Go over it. Okay. All right. How's a hippo? You know. Um, else can we do with it? With our hippo, uh, it needs a tree, because it's a Christmas hippo. So that's all you can do. And this is just, I'm going to freehand it. Again, for a tree, triangles. Using our brown again. Different brown. For the tree. Okay. That is our Christmas hippo in the snow. A little Christmas tree on the side. Um, you can do with your hippo. Now you can add actually a little, a little, little freckles and where its hairs go. Um, 
Sometimes they have little spots. These are all, it's just adding a little character to your drawing. Uh, hello. And then, like I said, just go over those lines again. That is our Christmas hippo. Um, sign your work. Don't forget, sign your work, and we'll just sign it. Not over there, but we'll just sign it right over here. Alright. So that is our Christmas hippo. Um, and just because. This is kind of a little bit of a reverse engineering. There. Gonna give him a hat. So now it is a Christmas hippo. Alright. So those are Christmas hippo. Um, thank you for joining us for your noon cartooning for kids with Mr. Jane um, at the Kyle Public Library. Beautiful Conroe, Arizona. Um, thank you again. Don't forget, uh, this coming Thursday will be our virtual Dungeons and Dragons for all those patrons 11 to 18 years of age. Um, to register, you have to create an account on Roll20.net. Once you have your account set up, please call. Um, give me a call over at Youth Services, and I will uh, set you up with the link to join in our virtual D&D campaign. Uh, it'll be the last one of the year because we know it gets a little busy uh, after next week with the holidays and whatnot. So we have that going on. We have our um, third Wednesday of the month uh, will be our virtual open mic. And we're going to have it, just so you know, this is, I'm not, this is where I'm announcing it for the first time. Uh, it'll be on our YouTube channel. Um, it'll premiere on our YouTube channel. So we have a YouTube channel, by the way, if you didn't know. Um, so the post will go up soon asking for videos. Uh, Mr. Dad really loves holiday music now, so if you want to do some holiday music as your uh, for your videos, uh, that'd be great. But again, um, have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe. Be good. Wear your mask, and uh, I will see you soon. All right, bye everybody. Bye.